All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday. We are playing with Chemical Bees. And uh, uh, if you look at the title, you're like, wrong book. Like, I'll explain it. This is really part two of what I talked about on Wednesday with my new course. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and drop right into it. This hand is kind of, yeah, this hand's actually really bad. Like, I need trade in. I need my fill spell. Like, I need a lot to make this hand fucking decent. Never mind, I got my fucking fill spell. <laughs> Never mind. When you get your fucking fill spell in this deck, it, 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 I mean, you need your fill spell. This fill spell is so fucking good. So good. Like, it makes chemical beasts go from, and to I feel like, okay, I see that. I see that. So. Go ahead and just summon my crab. My crab will go ahead and get his effect. I will go ahead and send the chemical beast. So I'm actually send you. I'm actually gonna send you. And I think I already have you, so I wouldn't be terrible to grab you. But I can probably go into my sea monster next turn. We'll grab another crab because I'm probably gonna lose this crab because there's nothing for me to do with him. Like usually I would banish him to pop a card, but my opponent didn't do anything. So my new course. Uh, I don't know why they said that it wasn't the next course and that it's like an independent study course. Like, it's kind of weird. Oh, so you're going to summon that and make me... But then, it, I could just use my field spell effect and then get rid of you. Like, if anything, that's better for me. Like, I kind of wish you would sort of took the attack and then killed my crab next turn and said I get to save my crab? Like, boy, like, <laughs> I get my crab. Oh, and I could have just summoned fucking Malefic Stardust. Kind of forgot about him. Like, he's kind of important, don't you think? He's, he's kind of important, actually. Uh, and the whole scheme of things, I could've just summoned him and attacked with him, but then... Now you just block my attack, and then... Malefic Star says only he can attack. So then, it would've been the same as him result. I should've just... I should've summoned him, though. Oh, no, and his death spots? I'm gonna die. <laughs> I might die here. <laughs> like, rip. <laughs> and death spots, you already know, they... They push out the damage, and... This isn't gonna look like... It's not gonna look like it's gonna be fun. Oh, and he plays the beast, too? Uh, all right, but this only this effect only goes off you when you battle a monster, right? So, yeah, that's that's okay, I guess. <laughs> if anything, maybe I need to switch the deck and add like I get the normal summon, but I need to activate something to get my effect more. Like right now, I'm not running supervised, but I should probably run supervised because the problem is is that I need to get my monster to have its effect. Uh, I could just search another fucking crab. Like, sure, why not? Like you went through all of that, set up your pendulum scales, the pendulum summon. In the end, I'm just, you know, not really impressed. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Like, we already know that. But, uh... It's just like, that kind of, that play was kind of meh. I only got a crab. I could get him back. And then I could summon you, and then you can get your effect. I can go and chuck a rank 8 play. That would be terrible. But we tear apart his whole entire field with, like, you know, full armor and all that shit. Like, yeah, nah, yeah, that wouldn't be... That would be terrible. Just make sure I detach you as an material. So I'm not going to be using my normal summon to get your effect, I'm going to be actually doing my, uh, Oxide. So, I'll go ahead and summon Oxide, and then Oxide, he, he's the good, he's the goodness. Like, he, he allows the rank 8 plays that the deck loves to get access to, so. I'll go ahead and summon that. Oh, and you all become, I forgot that everybody on the field becomes 8. That's cool, so I don't even have to use you as my freaking uh, play. So I guess we can just go ahead and go to Cypher, or, you know, slap on full armor, slap on Cypher Blade, and pop some cards on the field. Like, I don't think that'd be a terrible play. I'm not really afraid of the sky base. I kind of want to pop your monster, because, of course, I don't want to deal with your damn monster. And then I will pop one of your pendulum skills. One of, do they have anything? No, these are the upper, upper ones. This is uh, 7 and 8, so they don't have, like, a, a effect like 5 and 6. But in my class, I already said it, there's only two people in the class, me and another student. But what you don't know is that despite it being me and another student, this other student's really not participating in the class, like, at all. We'll go ahead and go to Cypher Blade, who of course will then detach yet another XC material to crack one of your pendulum skills, I don't care, just get rid of your pendulum skills, simple as that. And then I get to get in the nice damage, like, Holy crap, this is a lot of damage right here. It's a lot of damage. So overall, place not terrible, not terrible. He has 2,000 life points left. So there's not any, I don't think there's any like rank 8 play or anything along those lines I could do to end this duel, so. I guess I could special summon my left and then go into like hope or something. Just to make sure that even if he draws him to, to something. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll go ahead and summon hope, uh, go into hope. Just in case, like if he regackies me, or he wants to set up another pendulum scale, I can just be like, nope, and I go, yum, 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 release the off salt. Give me that exceed, <laughs> make, make that my exceed material. But, uh, 
instead of going down, driving across town, meeting the uh, the professor at what did you just do? You played another sky base. Is that what you did? That's about an activating chain to the effect. I don't know. What are you activating? Are you activating this last effect? Because I don't believe you can activate that effect. Oh, you're doing the shuffle effect. Right. Hey, I forgot I had that. I forgot I had that. That fucking Cosmo Town kind of pseudo effect. Right, right. You're right. You're right. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, instead of meeting at the college, uh, it was actually decided. What? Pendulum scale one and one? No, no. That's fine. You want to say two pendulum scales of scales of one? More power to you, sir. It's not like you're wavering. I said, if you're dead, I'm just negating. Eat it. You know? Like, two ones? Sure. <laughs> like, that's game. That's game. GG. GG. Shake my hand. GG. Like, I don't know. I didn't really like that play, but your name is Noob. It's, uh, the professor was like, you know what? Instead of meeting Tassel, driving across town, trying with two people, how about I call you on the phone? Like, yeah, sure. Here's my cell phone number. Call me whenever it's convenient for you. On Thursday, she called. And with her calling, uh, she kind of helped me with everything that I need to do for week one. And I'll continue that in the next build. We are back. All right, we're back. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tweak this stat. It's it, it's okay. It's it's a little fast. Like things that I'm regretting is probably running like multiple of these. I'm hoping to get more trade-ins because then I'd have multiple trade-in targets. But I'm not getting the trade-ins, and this card's kind of eh. Like I'm not sure if I'll drop it to like one or two. Just because the eight play, that's nice, but. You know, it's still it's like the place just kind of eh. Uh, but uh, throwing some super vice that way I can get my monsters back and then my monster, you know, leaves the field, then I get to revive one of my monsters as well. So that'd be pretty great on both ends. I think I'll go ahead and just activate my spark field. Now I can summon him. The problem with that is, oh, okay, never mind. So I guess I'm not going to activate my spark field. I mean, I still could, but I mean, really, what's the point? Like this, this guy, this guy is just shitty. Like I'm probably, I'm take, I would love to take him out. Like I'd probably take out him and the trade ins and stuff, but then I would run out of my eight plays. Like there's only one other level eight uh, chemical piece besides him. So not the greatest, not the greatest. I'm just gonna set one card and end. Like all right, got your Nova, awesome. <laughs> but she called me on the phone. And we went over everything that needs to be done in week one, right? Uh, and it was literally, like, literally everything was falling apart. Vega, that's fine. Now, if you go Vega and go Altair and then Altair effect, I'm going to be like, no. Unuk? Unuk? No, that's fine. Like, that, that, that is where I would draw. Oh, I, once again, keep on fucking wow. Wow, once again, fucking OCG. Fucking OCG. It always catches me off guard. There's not a lot of people hosting, so I'm like, oh, someone's hosting. Let me hop it in the duel and, you know, continue recording. Fucking Harpy's Feather Duster and Monster Reborn. God damn. Whew. Ooh, get destroyed. All right. I'm getting another duel. They're back. God damn. If I had a nickel for every time I fucking mistake OCG. And I'm, I'm so shocked about it. Like, but did I just hit hit with Harpy's Feather Duster? Like, yeah. What about it? What's up? Like, is there a problem? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Touch yourself, deck. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. I don't like Raider upgrades. Not at all. Not at all. So much touching yourself. Just playing with yourself. Like, I get it. You search. Good job. Awesome. Cool story, bro. Yep. Uh, but everything was just falling apart. Everything. So, see... In the introduction to the class, she sent us a message, and he was like, hey, I'm your teacher of this class. But in that message, it wasn't the right class. Like, the class is 330B, but in the message, she said, like, 633? And I was like, okay, I guess that's maybe like a typo or something, right? These are the two books that you would need for this course. Awesome. She told me two books. I'm going to go ahead and buy them off of Amazon. Oh, my God. You're going to stall out with fucking readiness, too? Fuck that. I'm not going to fucking sit here and do this duel. Be right back. Sorry, I'm probably gonna put Raptors on my list of just decks that I don't want to play, like Ghost Strikes and Psy Frames, because it's. I'm not really dueling you, you're dueling you, you're playing with yourself. Search, 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 and then eventually drop an Ultimate Falcon. Like, it's like, it like has two aspects of the game that I'm not a big fan of. Like, so you're playing with yourself, and then you drop an invincible ass boss monster that I will struggle to get over. That thank Christ we told you lightning, you know? But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
Oh, and then you just fucking leave. All right. I didn't open up that well either. You know what? I, I'll keep on saying I'm going to tweak the deck and what I'm going to tweak about it, but I don't tweak anything. So, you know what? Let me go tweak this because this, this is getting dumb. This is getting dumb. So, bear back. All right. I took the deck. So, uh, I took out, what's it called? I took out the fucking level 8 guy because I realized something while reading him. It doesn't say uh, Chemical Beast Monster. It just says Gemini Monster. So, I can just run a different 8. So, duh, that fucking Dark Storm guy got can Heavy Storm in their field for getting me to get in my Brilliant Fusion or my Field Spell. Like, that's fine, you know? Oh, is it actually, like, are they actually facing, like, Gemini? So, shit. Shit. That's why I'd be an interesting duel, then. Interesting duel, indubitably. Uh... Opened up okay. Like, once again, I can do my crab plays, but the problem with fucking crab plays is that uh, there's not much to do if I don't have anything to pop with my spark field, but I would like to get the search, you know? It's nice to go ahead and get the search, so. So we just throw in Darkstone Dragon instead of the other level 8 fucking chemical beast. He's shit. Like, he's literally shit, so. No. So, I um, think I'm gonna go ahead and send a Dark Storm, and I'm gonna add me. I already have my level 2, so I'm gonna add me a level 8 guy. So, if I want to, I can do that play next turn. I could just trade in now. And that wouldn't be terrible. I'm trying to think. I could I could trade in. Probably gonna still keep my Crab, or I can summon Spark. I think I might summon Spark right now. I mean, yeah, not Spark. Hello? Stardust, Malefic Stardust. Uh, I could trade in him. I'll probably potentially draw into something else, like. I can always search again. Uh, we also put in Unleashed Power. Oh wow, and I just drew more Dark Storm. That's fine, because fucking he can summon him, so that's that's totally fine. Unleash your power, which has all Gemini monsters gain their effects, but then they're set their interface. I'm probably gonna utilize because I was thinking about doing supervised, but that's only one effect. While sometimes I have multiple Gemini monsters, I was supposed to summon Lefix Dire, so that's fine. I'll just poke you for 700 and hold on to my resources. Uh, you know, like, I, like I'll i banish the crab, the crab will turn, of course, without the fact that I can summon my uh, ox, use Unleash Your Power, crab will get the search, and fox will get the summon, so that's pretty much the idea with the play, but uh, overall, it's kind of, eh, eh. And oh, Brilliant Fusion, I mean, Brilliant Fusion, Brilliant uh, Gem Knights, they're a really aggressive deck, they could easily OTK you, so I'm kind of thinking that he just took it slow, like, he went first, got, you know, his search, and then took it slow, and then this turn right here, he's gonna probably, you know, push my shit in, you know, especially since he got Brilliant Fusion, like, Brilliant Fusion is so strong in Gem Knights in, in general, like, it really is, uh, but, of course, everybody wants its head, and Seraphonite, and all that, so, you know how it is, anyway, with her calling me, uh, just a lot of problems. So the books. She's like, here are the two books. Awesome. When on Amazon purchased the books. When she called me on the phone, she's like, oh, do you have the Beers book? And then, oh, that's Beers is the last name of the author. And I was like, no, what's the Beers book? She's like, what, you, you don't have the Beers book? Like, no, there's no beer book in your list. I was like, I checked your message. There's no beer book. She's like, oh my God, I sent you the wrong message. That was for my master, you know, my, my master's course that I'm teaching, not for you. So I ended up getting the wrong books and they cost me like 50 bucks like thank god i have like amazon prime so i can return them but uh you know rip so i'm sitting here you know trying to do the fucking assignments i don't even have the goddamn book so uh what does this guy do this card this card attacks it changes the defense position at the end of the battle. So this card is something really great if you're talking about one card you want to control which i attack to hand uh so you're like a weird compulse and really defensive like okay i guess it's not like aqua marine i haven't seen much of you before <laughs> So, what I can do is, don't you like destroy the monster that was summoned that way or something like that, or something like that. Let's probably still destroy that monster, but the monster's already gone, so that's nothing. Uh, I can summon Ox, and then Ox can summon, uh, uh, what's it face? Uh, Storm, Storm, yeah. Summon Storm, he'll go up to 8, which is great. Now I can do a rank 8 play, but I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking. I might want to hold on to my Storm, because I can special summon Alephic Stardust, and then go into my fucking rank 8 shenanigans pop your shit plays, you know? So that might not be too terrible. Too terrible, you know? And then I could always tribute him off, or if I don't exceed with him, tribute him off and then pop another card. It really depends, it really depends. Like, you know what? Just to say, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, period, yeah, it does. It does say sent from the field to the graveyard, period. Ah, uh, this sucks, this sucks. I kind of want to get rid of him, but I'll, I'll be end up sending him to the graveyard, which means that he will bounce, so. I'm going to you. Uh, doing your main phase. 
if I put it, would it activate anything? Because no, I'm gonna get bounced anyway. I go into Felbrand. I can actually use these two into Felbrand and then attack, attack. That wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, yeah. And then whatever he targets, I could just be like, nah. No, wait, you go off during the damage step. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I can just have Felbrand negate his own effect and make himself unaffected before I get bounced. And if you want to bounce this, I can just summon it right back. Like that. That's no problem. Yeah. Alright, so. Right, right. Only fell, right, only fucking Malefic starters can attack. I should have used you as extra material, but I wanted to block my field spell. But I have another field spell. I messed up. I messed up. Alright, so. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just do Felgrand effect on yourself and run over the fucking uh, Aquamarine. Like, rip. I, I definitely messed that one up. I must say that. I, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I forgot you have a fucking uh, big old booty. Oh, wait. I negated. I mean, he's not affected by card effects. That's right. That's right. He's not affected by card effects. Look, why can't I attack with him now? That's right. I, I fucked up. I was like, I forgot his 26 booty. I was like, oh, I could just attack it with a fucking Malefic Star. That's like, fucking rip. Fucking rip. Like, I fucked that all up. That was terrible. I misplayed. I'm so trying to focus on the story and playing the Yu Gi Oh! It's just, ugh. ugh. So I purchased the wrong book. So in the phone call, I was like, is this the right book? Is this the right book? We were emailing each other. And then eventually I ended up getting the correct book. So you can attribute him to do what? I just card special one Gemini monster. No more Gemini monster from your deck. Okay. So that's good. I, I Two books, two books. And it cost me like $11. So super cheap, which is totally fine. But uh, so that, that was the first mistake. Wow, wow, I'm, I'm not getting my shit pushed in for fucking up. Like, that's totally fine. Alright, so, summon the crab, and then just attack, attack, really. Yeah. And then, one more summon to get my search on. So, once again, summon, send a Gemini, add a Gemini. Uh, I'll send you, and. Alright, it has to be a chemical piece. That's three chemical base. I should have my fucking... What's it called? The fucking two guy. It's fine. This guy's good, too. Let's try I can banish get my monster from a graveyard to pop a card. Like, that's pretty good. I just... Um, so, just attack, attack, and I guess I'll pop your brilliant fusion. Just so it's not on the field anymore. So, like... This duel is just kind of eh right now. Because I'm messing up, and he's not doing anything too fantastic right now. Like... Can I play this? Yeah. One more field spell. So. Okay, might as well grab it. Really, might as well grab it. This deck then. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to... <sighs> I forgot to fucking do my fucking field spell pop your brilliant fusion. You gotta, like, get the crab out of the way. Like, rip, rip. Fucking up. I'm fucking up, people. I'm, I'm choking. I'm choking. God damn. So, the next thing that we ran the problem into is... She was like, oh, you have to do this... Bibliography, resource bibliography. Just use resource number one and resource number two to help you out. Two for these bibliographies. Resource number one was literally a link to Wikipedia that told me what an annotated bibliography definition is. That doesn't help. And then the second link, the resource link, was broken. It's like awesome, awesome, good, awesome. So that doesn't help in the slightest. Yeah, my crab wouldn't even be dead right now if I would fucking did my play properly. Like, I, I completely fucking forgot about doing that. Like, I was like, oh yeah, spark fuel, go ahead and... No, 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 good job, Dan. You, you, you obviously fucked up, and I could have kept that crab, and then, you know... Well, I guess I could still get my crab and get my search on. Like, that's no problem. Because I could just still remember and summon the crab, get my normal summon from my effect, and, you know, do all that. So, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, get my crab, get my search. Like, God, I fucked that up. Like, I, just, I wouldn't even have to do this play if I didn't fuck up and actually use my fucking spark field properly. I, I'm, I'm... Oh, that's a, it's a shame that I have a fucking lost this duel yet, because what the fuck am I doing? You know, that's literally how I feel right now. What the fuck am I doing? So, I could attack and attack, but I think I just want to get more damage if I just spark field. So, I'll just pop you and banish my crap. Like, seriously, what the fuck are you doing, Daniel? <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. I mean, if I would save that, I could use a string of memories for an eight play, and then summon Stardust, and then made another eight play. Like I probably could have ended this duel, probably close to it, at least, if I fucking would have done my place properly. God damn it! <laughs> oh, and this is the reason why I need my fucking English unleash your power, because 
I can get my crap back, my crap can get the search, and I can unleash power, and then, you know, I can have my ox summon, and my ox, you know, you can roll summon for my ox, ox summon him, then unleash power, crap, ox, all of them activate their effects, like, I could definitely be having some, you know, some power. But instead, I kind of fucked up, so. <laughs> so you, like, what, tribute her or something to summon another Gemini? So she was like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower the, the summon amount, not from 10 to 5, and, you know, look up resources. And then the class is called, like, reading and language for teaching your students. And it's like, you know, I was like, I want to be a math teacher. She's like, you want to be a math teacher? And, yeah, just, just running into, like, a shit ton of problems. So if I negate you, do you, like, drop this card gains attack for his Gemini monster? Would you drop? Yeah, you drop down to 29. You still kill me, but... At least I don't take as much damage, which, you know, I've been eating fat dick this entire duel from fucking up, so at least that's a little bit better. <laughs> Get my crab back, so. Yeah, I, really, I just need my freaking, uh, my only extra power, so that'd be great. Like, I can go, like, you summon, you know, summon you, get your effect through the spark field, then summon Darkstorm. Darkstorm, send my field spell, wipe all your fucking shit. Like, like I, I'd probably be in a lot better position right now. If I had my Unleash Your Power. I'm running at 2, but I'm up to 3 because, I mean, look how fucking great it is, you know? Like, look how fucking great it is. You could summon you, and then you could summon you, like, and then get the effect. Like, shit. <laughs> so, hopefully this back row isn't something to stop me. It's not anything to stop me. I could go into double rank 8 play. I can summon my rank 8, I can summon my Gemini Militia 8, they'd all become 8, then I can summon Malefic Stardust, and he'd also be 8, and I can go into double rank 8 play. And double rank 8 play, I mean, uh, tell me that I don't sound like fucking fire. I'll summon you, and everybody's 8, so. So then I think I'll just go ahead and do the use. I can go into my City Monster, then slap up Full Armor, then go into Cypher Blade, like, we might be able to end this duel, really. Like, depending on what that set card is, like usual, what is that set card? So, we're just going to Cypher, then we're going to Full Armor, Detach, pop your set card, Full Armor, Detach. I believe the one of them has to be face up, or are they both face up? You're face up, and you're just a card in general, right? Touch the damage target one card on the field, yeah. So, I would say Full Armor. You will go ahead and pop Diamond. And pump diamond. These burning fusions don't do shit. Like the monster I was summoned is not even anything. Flash fusion. Fuse my own and I fuse monster to control during the end phase. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and fuse just and hop out of the way, which is fine because you know I could just fucking never mind, never mind. You went into fucking aquamarine. Fuck. <laughs> you went into aquamarine. Rip. Rip. Ah, uh, uh, Aquamarine, you're gonna bounce me. That's that sucks. Yep. Yep. Get rid of Aquamarine. Then Aquamarine will go off. Bounce my fucking blade. Like that's fine. Uh. I guess I'll just attack you with Dark Storm. Like that's really all I got. I could summon out Malefic Stardust, but only one. You know, only he can attack. So. Doesn't really do anything. Guess I can go to like hope or something. I guess I'm okay for right now. Like, I'm not doing terrible in this duel, but I'm not doing great. So I gotta find resources of my own. It's just a lot of work. And my teacher that I'm supposed to be interviewing, I sent an email, but she never emailed me back. So she was like, "Oh, instead of all the assignments to do on Saturday night, like 11:59." They're gonna be due on Sunday, and that's just a soft, you know, uh, due date to just, you know, try to keep the work going, but it's just a struggle. The other students not, I posted in the discussion board, and just, you had to post a discussion on Wednesday, it's now Friday, and the classmate hasn't even logged in, let alone, you know, responded to any of the things that I posted. So, fucking rip on that. Um, yeah, I could do some of my chemical beast, and then, you know, use my effect to banish the target card from my opponent control on top of it, so. I have plenty of chemical beasts in the center. Actually, it's just Gemini monster, so. And pop that monster for me and then attack for game. Yep. That, was, that was a good game. That was a good game. It's kind of back and forth, but 
you know, I fucked up, he wasn't that difficult overall, just an okay dude. So, just a lot of trouble with this class, and if he doesn't, like, do his work or do anything like that, then it just might just be me and her, so, uh, um, I mean, I'm gonna talk to her Sunday, the day that it's due, Sunday night, and, you know, see if everything on my assignment's okay, like, she's not gonna grade me hard, she's just trying to get me prepared, you know, she's like, this is what, what you're now gonna be doing in higher up classes, so, yeah, I wanna get you accustomed to it, but, God, she's so scatterbrained, and this is the first time her teaching the course, and it's just, it's just so rep, it's just so rep, and so the struggle is going to be real in this course, but I'm trying my best, I'm gonna try my best. So wish me luck, wish me luck, but just, uh, I gotta send these books back, back to Amazon, get my 50 bucks back, send these books back, because I was doing the rent system, I purchased the other books, they're not coming in until the 11th to the fucking 26th, I don't think it's gonna take all the way to the 26th, if it takes all the way to the 26th to get the fucking books, then fucking rip, you know, like, it shouldn't take that long, because the class, is only a month long, but, she, she just extended everything, and she, she was so apologetic, and everything is just going wrong, but, hopefully I'll be able to do everything and get everything done, but wish me luck. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, uh, let me why live stream tomorrow. If you guys can show up, it'd be very appreciative. I'm looking forward to you know, talking to you playing Zemi Bell decks. Uh, waiting for Dueling Buck. Hopefully that's real. And, uh, like I said, I'm actually deep in thought. I'll probably end up talking more about it in, in next week's Daily Duels when I'm more solidified. But, uh, there might be some changes to the channel. Not in the near future, like it's only August. I'm talking like November, there'll be some changes, but uh, there might be some changes. You know, I talked over Stanzi and, you know, I've been thinking about it, so I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. I don't know why I live stream, I'm trying to end this video, but I'm just deep in thought. <laughs> Uh, apologize for misplaying, but I'm gonna take the deck. I'm probably gonna put in some more Unleash Your Power, because Unleash Your Power just seems like it'd be so good with all these Gemini monsters. Alright, people, thanks for watching.